What is going on everybody, AMV Coinbuster here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbuster video for you all today. And in today's episode we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in and they gave us 1,000 quarters to start out with today. So pretty expensive game but that is a ton of quarters to start out with. And the only catch to today's game is there's not a single quarter in the machine besides the uh, quarter pyramids they got on top of that big old like castle wall type thing. And they got two one dollar chips right there in the center fairly close to the edge. Each one of those is worth 500 free quarters if we can get those so that's our 1,000 quarters back just sitting on the edge right there just waiting to be won. And uh, they also got like this world's largest like tower wall or castle walls I should say. It's completely made out of $5,000 chips. All the pinkish purple chips are $5,000. And these two great big old orange towers that are on the left and the right of this big old wall, those are all $10,000 chips. And they had a big old like wall of $25,000 chips in the pusher back there, or on the pusher. Yeah, we done got all that to fall down though. It's completely scattered everywhere throughout the machine now, all the $25,000 chips. Oh yeah, check it out, we're about to get the tower in the center, and we're also about to get the tower on the left side, it's slowly going. Come on, nice push. Oh my gosh, they got a green earbud in there, check that out. It's like right there to the left of that tower in the center. Uh, basically, if we can get that green earbud, we'll get to turn that in, and we just got it, sweet. So we'll get to turn that in later on. They'll take all the stuff that is on the blue shelves and they will put it all into the playing field for us. So we got all that to look forward to. Oh wow, this is pushing super, super well right now. We're also about to get the $10,000 tower on the right. All right, check this out. We got uh, both of the $1 chips right here. So that's our 1,000 quarters back. And crazy thing is we're not even through our first 1,000 quarters yet. Oh my goodness, well I'm just now noticing something. Do you all see that back there? There is a $25,000 chip stuck like in between the pusher and the blue shelf. Yeah, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. So yeah, that might end up tearing up the machine. So let me call the staff back here just real quick. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn in the two $1 chips while we're at it. Yeah, I'm hoping none of this right through here falls down. That would suck to miss that falling down. So anyway, let me turn in the two $1 chips and call the staff back here and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and they got that $25,000 chip out of the uh, side of the pusher there. So uh, thank goodness. Yeah, I was worried the whole time they was back here that all this money that is stuck on the edge right here would end up falling over and it would not be on camera. But anyhow... Uh, luckily everything stayed in the same position. There might have been a couple chips that fell off of there. And uh, anyway, I also turned in the two $1 chips with one as well. They gave us 1,000 quarters, so. Anyway, wish me good luck everybody. Hopefully this game goes really, really good today. Well, it's actually late at night as I'm filming this. Uh, basically, the video that I did earlier Wow, it's just raining poker chips out of there. That is super, super satisfying watching all that fall down, I tell you. And it's a really, really good feeling knowing that you're winning all that money. I'd say we're on the road to making our $10 million back. Say we might have a million or two left to go to break even. But uh, we're doing really, really good. Let's keep up the good progress. So Anyway, what I was saying was this is actually going to be... Uh, tomorrow's video. I'm filming this video on the same day as I filmed, you know, the video with the big old uh, $10,000 tower back there, and there was all that gold on the play field, and there was also the three ginormous dollar sign mystery bags. Basically, I'm filming this video on Thursday evening, or Thursday night, as I should say, 
And it's about close to midnight right now, so I'm pretty tired. I've been playing these games all day. But basically, I won't have time to film a video tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. So, I just thought I would get Friday's video out of the way tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted right now, so sorry if I don't sound, you know, super, super enthusiastic. But I don't want to leave anybody, you know, upset tomorrow by not posting videos, so... And I don't like missing videos, me personally. I don't try not to miss videos whatsoever. And if I do end up missing one, I'll always make it up with more videos in the future. Like maybe doing two videos in one day. Or something like that. I also have a second channel I post videos on. Seems like, you know, if I miss a video, I'll post a video on this channel and that channel. Just to kind of make up for the lack of videos. But, uh... Anyhow, so like I said, sorry if I don't sound super enthusiastic tonight. I've just been playing these games all day and I'm pretty tired as of right now. I only got like three hours of sleep using my uh, CPAP machine. They gave me a brand new one to use because my old one is getting prepared and it turns out there was something wrong with it that was causing the airflow not to be as strong. So, yeah, I haven't been getting the full effect from my CPAP machine for months now been at least three months where I've not been getting the full effect so uh, yeah I mean it's been working pretty good but I only got three hours with it uh, last night and I think I had like three hours of sleep without it then you know of course the three hours without it was nothing but disrupted sleep so technically going on about I'm gonna say it's averaged out to be about four and a half hours of sleep you know, so I'm just going to do my best to talk as good as I can. I apologize if it's not as good as it normally is, but this will have to make do for today. I ain't going to let nothing stop me from getting an entertaining video out for you all. Yeah, it might be a pretty short video today. It might be a pretty long video. It all depends on what they got in there. Like if there's any more special chips. Well, I guess I should say it depends on how long it takes us to win all this stuff that got in here. Oh wow, we got a nice push over there on the left. Did you see that one? And it's still pushing good. Uh, let me know if y'all can see the edge okay. I guess you can see it pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to sleep good tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to be completely worn out after I finish this game right here. I'm going to go straight home, edit this video, get it ready for tomorrow. That's if I'm not like completely worn out. And uh, I'm going to take a quick shower and then I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Yeah, the sad part about it is last night I would have had like six and a half hours of sleep using my CPAP, but I take it off unconsciously while I'm sleeping. I'm not even aware of it. I'll just pull the machine off or something like that. There's been several times that I've woken up as I was taking the machine off and stuff like that. And I was like, I told myself, what in the world are you doing? So I kind of just like caught myself. I was like, well, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be wearing this. So I just put it back on. And I uh, went right back to sleep. I mean, it's kind of upsetting when you have a brand new machine to use and it's working perfectly. And you feel good after about six hours, six and a half hours of sleep. Yet you can't even keep it on for two or three hours a night. It's just, you know, one thing right after another. But I uh, don't mean to be negative. But uh, I'm sure eventually I'll find, you know, the thing that works. The machine itself works really good. It's just a matter of how can I keep it on while I'm sleeping. I don't know if the changing in air pressure has anything to do with it. Like you know how it will, the pressure will go up and down like it'll start off at like a 5 or a 6 or a 7 and then it'll go up to whatever it needs to. Maybe when it changes pressure that like startles me in my sleep or something. 
I don't know, but anyhow, I can always buy me a good old roll of duct tape at Walmart here soon, and I can tape the machine to my face while I'm sleeping. I think that would work better than anything, to be honest with you. And if that don't work, we'll just use Gorilla Glue, or Super Glue, whatever you want to call it. Same difference. How does that sound? Nah, I'm just joking with y'all. I actually would use duct tape, though. Just like put a tiny little piece of duct tape on it. That way, you know, if I am pulling the machine off while I'm sleeping, you know, the duct tape where it's like a strong, effective tape, it might like hurt my face or something as I'm pulling it off, and then it would wake me up, of course. So eventually that would, you know, just train my body to keep that machine on while I'm asleep. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, I'm. if you don't use a CPAP, I'm probably, you know, speaking a whole different language than you are, but uh, if you do use these machines, a lot of y'all can probably relate to the problems that I'm experiencing. So anyhow, uh, we got, you know, as much of this out of here as we can, I think. So I might go ahead and call them back here uh, just to see if they can reset this money that's stuck on the edge, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here, and I was wanting to go ahead and turn in that green earbud that they were like, well, you know, you can get a free reset first, right? And I was like, okay, that sounds pretty good. So uh, technically, they reset everything that was stuck on the edge. They just scattered it all across the playfield. So wish me the best of luck, everybody. Hopefully, we can win every bit of this out of here and uh, make an absolute fortune. So I forgot to go over what all they had on the blue shelves today. They got, uh, looks like two $1,000 towers. These yellow chips right here, uh, those are all $1,000 chips. You rarely ever see those in there anymore. They've kind of replaced the $1,000 chips with $25,000, which that is 100% okay with me. I prefer the $25,000 chips, worth like 25 times more than one of those. So. Anyway, uh, they also got two white dice on top of those. Those white dice, we get those, we'll get the roll at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. So the white dice multiply the poker chips and the cash. And uh, anyhow, they got two $5,000 towers on the blue shelf. I think that was connected to this like castle wall type thing. Pretty sure it was anyway. Yeah, I think so. I remember it now. And uh, they got a brown mystery bag over there on that right side. It's behind that $5,000 tower. And on the left, they got like a dark blue mystery bag. That one's a little bit hidden. Might be camera shy or something like that, but uh, we're going to get it later on. And they also got like two big old like walls of gold and $10,000 chips on each side with two stacks of cash on top of it. Yeah, there's 10,000 bucks in each one of them stacks of cash, so that's some pretty good money there. Oh my goodness, dropping quarters on the floor. I'll pick them up here in just a second. So yeah, this might be like a half an hour long video today, or uh, possibly 40 minutes, 45 minutes. I don't think it's going to be over an hour long, though. Because we're making some good progress pretty quick on this game right here. So, anyway, let's try another push or two. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn in that green earbud. How does that sound? It'd be nice to get this wall with $5,000 chips on the right. Just being super stubborn right now, unfortunately. Alright, so let's try one more push and we'll go ahead and call it quits. I tell you what, let's just push until we get that 10 grand right there. Alright, well we got it, so let's go ahead and stop. So, anyhow, this has been a really, really good game so far today. So let's go ahead and cash in that green earbud and we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that green earbud and they uh, took all that stuff that was on the blue shelf. So they put it all into the play field. The only thing that they told me about was uh, if they moved that $5,000 wall right there, 
wall made out of $5,000 chips, it would completely crash down. And uh, they just told me that I could call them back here anytime I want to and have them reset the machine for me. So basically at any point in time they will put this entire wall into the play field. Now some of it over there on the right, as you can see, it's still attached to the blue shelf. Which means we'll, if we do get it to go, we'll probably end up losing some of it. Which, I mean, that's to be expected, honestly. So I'm getting more and more tired as the game progresses. So I apologize if my talking isn't as good. Or if it seems like my talking is getting worse. Wow, it's just raining golden poker chips, though. It's doing really, really good right now. A lot of it's getting stuck on the edge, though, like these two stacks of cash. Well, that big old wall on the right side, it's like leaning over this way a little bit. Now, that would be super nice if we could get that one to go. Wow, that was a magnificent pressure out there, wasn't it? Now be sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying it so far. And uh, let me know if I should make more coin pressure videos while I'm like half asleep. Let me know if my talking is better or worse when I'm half asleep. The video might be a little bit more funny. It might sound funny or something. I don't know. I might be making more jokes or whatnot when I'm tired, so... Anyway, let's try to go for uh, 11,000 likes on this video. If we can get to 11,000 likes, tomorrow we'll try $1 billion buy-in. Oh my goodness, well we got another tower to go on the left there. Oh my goodness, wow. I don't even know what happened with that big old wall fell down. I was trying to get some quarters out of this basket up here. Heck yeah, so, I mean, yeah, like I was saying, we lost uh, two 10,000, I mean, uh, two 5,000 dollar chips, 10 grand in total. So, yeah, basically they just said to call them back here at any point in time, and they'll give us a free reset for that right there. Oh yeah, there's a ton of money on the edge, nice, look at that. It's like pouring out $5,000 chips out of there. And you honestly couldn't ask for a better game than this. And uh, also, let me know what you thought about that big old like, castle wall they had in there today. That was a pretty unique build, honestly. So shout out to whichever employee built that. Whoever built it did a really, really good job. Oh yeah, that whole entire right side is about to avalanche. Ready? Oh yeah, the next push is definitely going to be an avalanche. Look at that. Yep, look at all that money we just got. That was awesome. Heck yeah, we got that stack of cash right there in the center as well. Jackpot, baby. Jackpot win indeed. It's going to be a huge win today. Now we've already, you know, made way more than 10 million back off of this game. So everything we win from here on out is pure profit. And uh, the game we played earlier was a winning game as well. Yeah, I believe we won. I think it was a little over. Well, I actually don't want to tell y'all how much it was because that was yesterday's video for you all. And I know there might be some people who haven't seen it yet and want to watch it, so... Now, anyway, yesterday's video, if you want to check it out, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen in the last 15 seconds of this video right here, and you can just click on it. And uh, it will take you right to yesterday's video. You can check it out if you want to. It was a really, really good one. Not going to want to miss that one. Now, basically, I'll go over what all was in 
the game I played earlier. Well, for you all, it's yesterday's game. Uh, there was this humongous tower of ten thousand dollars chips. Probably the world's largest tower, honestly. Definitely the biggest tower I've ever seen in there before. So anyway, um, I will continue telling y'all what I'm saying. Or I will continue talking about what I was talking about here in just a minute. But let's call them back here and have them do that free reset that they were telling us about. So we'll be right back. Alright, so anyhow, I called them back here. They reset the machine for me. Because remember I told you they would do that free reset after we knocked down that big old wall on the right. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Yesterday's game had a whole bunch of gold in it. And it was like the whole entire machine was just covered in gold. Especially the lower shelf and the blue shelves. And uh, they had the great big old $10,000 tower on the pusher. They had like two big old like walls, uh, $5,000 chips that was stacked up to the ceiling. Like way back there on the blue shelves. They also had two ginormous dollar chunk mystery bags. Well, three of them if you count the one. Well, I kind of spoiled it a little bit, but there was a mystery bag hidden inside the tower. I hope that, you know, everybody's done seen yesterday's video. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. We got a whole bunch of chips out of there. Yeah, I think we'll get it all cleared out of here in no time. Let's just uh, keep up the consistent progress and we'll get it all. Yeah, we still got to open up the two mystery bags that we want as well. I believe we got a uh, brown one and a dark blue one. I think that were the colors of the two mystery bags anyway. I apologize if it wasn't. I mean, you can't really hold anything against me what I say in this video because I am absolutely exhausted by now. Yeah, we already got around an hour and a half wrapped up in this game right here. The majority of that was waiting on them to... Uh, build the towers and rearrange the machine for us and stuff and uh let's see also separating all the chips that was down there in the loot chute that took a big old chunk of time as well all right so we got a gold bar and five grand left in there we gotta push out of there and we'll be set We got it. We got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely amazing. So uh, let's go ahead and open up this brown mystery bag first. We got both of them set in here, so we'll just check out one of them at a time. Oh my goodness, check it out. So we got the $50 chip today, so we're going to turn this in at the end of the game. Well, technically right now, unless there's another, you know, special chip in the other mystery bag. But anyway, uh, we get to turn this in right here. They'll take everything we lost to these two side slots right here. And they'll put it all into the play field for us to have a second chance of getting it all. And uh, we got the Mystery Money Dollar Sign Keychain. That could be worth $1 all the way up to a billion. I don't really expect this to be worth that much today considering our buying was only $10 million, But uh, you never know. It could be worth a whole bunch. could be worth our buying amount. You never know. And uh, we got two white dice and two gold dice. We also got two more white dice down there in the loot chute. Because they were on top of those thousand dollar towers. So the white dice multiply the poker chips and the cash. And the value of the keychain. And the gold dice multiply the gold bars. So yeah we've done really really good on this game so far. Let me set this down on the table. Alright so let's move on to this dark blue mystery bag right here. Heck yeah I'm really really excited to see what's in this one. Oh my goodness, so we got two more $1 chips. Look at that. It's about time we get some $1 chips. So that's a thousand more quarters. And uh, we got two more white dice and another gold dice. So that mystery bag was loaded up real good. So anyhow, let's go ahead and turn in that $50 chip and the uh, $1 chips with one. And we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $50 chip and those other $1 chips with one. They gave us all those extra quarters. And they took all that stuff that had fallen down in the gutters today. They put it all back into the play field. So I'm filming this video on Thursday. You're going to be seeing it on Friday tomorrow, of course. 
and uh, basically I won the $50 tip on the game I was playing earlier. Yeah, I went home for about two and a half hours or three hours, and you know, I had to edit the video. I got it on there, I think, at 10 o'clock tonight. Got today's video on there at 10 o'clock, Thursday's video at 10 o'clock. And uh, so, so there's a whole bunch of stuff right through here, you know, like $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips. They had a lot down in there in the gutters. So that's a clear indication that somebody else had played on this machine before I got back here tonight. So, yeah, a lot of this stuff is bonus money. So wish me good luck, everybody. Hopefully we can win it all out of there. They got a purple mystery bag on that right side. It's real close to the edge already. About ready to go. Hopefully it's stacked up really, really well. Oh, nice. There we go. We got the $10,000 tower to go on the right. That's pretty sweet. Oh, and I asked them what that mystery money keychain was worth. They said it was worth uh, 100 grand today even. So $100,000. So that's pretty good for a $10 million buy-in. Now usually it's about like one percent of your buy-in that Mr. Money Keychain is. So anyhow, uh, hopefully we can get this big old tower on the left-hand side to go. If we don't get that one to go here soon. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and pay the extra hundred grand to have them reset that. And it's getting really, really late. It's pretty close to 1 30, 2 o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm very, very tired. And I have to go home and edit this video and take a shower and then go to bed. Yeah, we may not be able to get this video edited tonight. Depends on how fast this game progresses right here. Depends on how much longer we're going to be playing on this. Because if it's like 4 in the morning by the time I get home, I'm not going to set up till 5. There's no way. I'll take like a 5 minute shower and then go on to bed. Yeah, I normally always take a shower at night time. After all the work is done for the day. Yeah, I never really understood why people you know, like take showers like early in the morning. I mean, I guess it's to look better for work or whatnot or to go wherever you want to go. I guess the shower makes you look better or something. And you don't want to go anywhere smelling bad as well. That's another thing. But uh, it's like if you're taking a shower to go to work and you're going to be outside all day, and then you come home and then you go to bed and then you get in the bed when you sweat it all day. I just find that a little bit gross. I mean, I'm not... I mean, this is just my opinion right here. So that's why I prefer taking showers like after all the work is done for the day. Like before you go to bed. That way you get in your bed clean and you wake up clean. And then you can... Uh, you know, take on the day. And then after you get, you know, sweaty and stuff like that from working, you can uh, take a shower at night time. I mean, you could also take a shower in the morning and at night time both. And then again, I guess a shower helps wake up a little bit. It helps you wake up a little bit. Yeah, I know I need a shower to wake up sometimes. Oh yeah, that big old golden tower on the left is moving. We may not even have to pay that extra hundred grand after all. I think we might get it to go beforehand. Might lose some five thousand dollar chips to the left gutter though. There's like two of them about to go down in there. Three actually. Well, if you think about it, all this money was just bonus money anyway, so it really doesn't even matter if we win or lose it. I'm just hoping we can win our 10 million bucks back. We should be able to, I'd say. 
Can't wait to see how much we're going to win in total off of this game. And uh, also, if this is your first time watching my channel and you've enjoyed this video so far, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. Be sure you hit that like button. Well, I just said that twice. Thumb the thumbs up button and hitting the like button, that's the same thing. Yeah, I am so tired, you all don't even know what I'm saying. What I meant to say was hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell icon, that way you get notified for future videos. And uh, we're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers by September the 21st, so be sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Nice, right, there we go. We got like 20, 25 grand on that push there, I believe. Yeah, this golden thing right here, it's about to go. Golden tower with $5,000 chips on top of it. Yeah, it's going to be like 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning before I get in the bed tonight. I already see that happening right now. I normally try to get in the bed by about 2.30 or 3 o'clock. I always like going to bed like late in the summertime, you know, and then getting up late in the summer as well. Well, if my CPAP machine cooperates and I can keep it on for five or six consistent hours, then all I need is five or six hours of sleep, and I can feel good the entire day. Six and a half hours is about like, you know, the best. The best possible amount of time to use one of those. Then again, each person's different. Some people need more sleep than others. I just couldn't imagine getting like 10 hours of sleep a day using one of those uh, CPAP machines. If you don't have any health problems and there's nothing wrong with you, you don't have any sleep apnea, you don't have any uh, thyroid problems or whatnot. And I couldn't see anybody sleeping 10 hours a day. That's just too much. Some people sleep more than that. Yeah, if you sleep 10 hours, that means you're only awake for 14 hours a day. And that's honestly not that much. So if anybody's tired, if y'all are tired all the time and you don't really know why, I would definitely go to a doctor and get checked out because the odds are you're looking at uh, sleep apnea. Yeah, I mean, I don't even weigh that much. I'm in between 100 and 150 pounds. I don't like to give away or tell you all my exact weight, but I will say I'm in between 100 and 150 pounds. And I've got mild sleep apnea, and I feel like absolute, you know, I'm not even gonna say the word, but you know where I'm going with that. I feel like absolute, you know, if I don't use my CPAP machine. Well, like I said, for the past few months, I've been using that machine, and, you know, it's not been giving me the full effect for months now, just cause of that airflow problem. Yeah, but that one morning I woke up, I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this. So, I just took that machine back to the place that I bought it from, told them what was going on, they gave me an alternate machine to use, this has been about five or six days ago, and it's worked perfectly, and I've, you know, been getting five, six hours of sleep, and I feel like a normal person throughout the day, it's not that overwhelming amount of energy when you first start the therapy, but, I mean, you just feel normal, and then, pretty much, well, Yep. Let's just take a moment to look at this big old tower on the left. It is completely defying gravity. I don't even know how it's still hanging on there. That is absolutely insane. I don't know how these towers do it sometimes, honestly. Well, it's starting to lean over the edge now. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. We got it, finally. Well, at least we don't have to pay the hundred grand today. Yeah, it's the last thing I feel like doing right now is waiting on them to come back here and reset the machine for us.
So yeah, that keychain it was worth a hundred grand. I believe I said that already. I'm just double checking or you know saying it again just in case I forgot to say it. Because I am pretty worn out right now. I'm pretty exhausted. So I've definitely talked a lot more quieter in this video. Uh, let me know if you prefer like the quiet talking over the louder talking. And uh, I can try to make some changes to the videos in the future by like talking a lot less louder. Alright, let's get this last 15 grand. That's actually 20 grand. Yeah, it's just going to be stubborn on purpose. I can already see it. It's like, you're not going to sleep none tonight. That's what it's saying to me. Nah, it's worth it though. Once we get it all out of there, it's 100% worth it. It's 100% worth the battle. Once we get it all cleared out of there. That might be about a 35-40 minute episode today. I have no clue. Well, I just dropped the basket on the floor. Luckily, it doesn't have no quarters in it. Yeah, it's so obnoxious when it like falls onto the floor like that. People could probably hear that all across the building when it falls like that. Well, it ain't too crowded here tonight. Like I said earlier, it's there might be about five or six people here. They're not in this section of the building though. This section of the building, there's uh, seven slot machines, uh, three coin brushers, actually four. One of them's tore up completely though. And uh, let's see, they got some candy and soda vending machines. Then the other part of the building, there's like a uh, concession area where you can like get hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. We got soda machines back there. And uh, they also got more slot machines up there. And uh, trying to think what else they got. I'm just pretty tired so it's taking me a lot longer to think about things. And we got it all cleared out of there. That's, that's awesome. Well, let's try to win some extra quarters back while we're talking. Almost finished with what I'm saying. Just trying to think real quick. They also got a jukebox. I don't know if you can hear any of the music they got playing, but the background noise that you all are hearing, that is the slot machines running. They run 24-7 back here, whether somebody's on them or not. And uh, I'm trying to think what else they got. They got a whole bunch of tables where you can like sit down and eat. And let's see. They got a jukebox. I believe we said that already. And they also got like one of those punching bag machines where you can like, you put one dollar in there, then it allows you to like punch that punching bag and then it has like a high score. I think the highest score here was like 870. I think when I tried it, I got like 600 almost or something. It was like 400, 500, 600, I can't even remember. But anyhow, I've been holding this mystery bag in my hand for the past like 20 minutes now. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what they had in there. Oh wow, we got real lucky on that one. We got two more gold dice, I mean two more white dice and one more gold dice. So speaking of the dice, let's go ahead and call them back here, have them put the dice on the pusher, and we'll roll them on down to the lower shelf using our quarters. Whatever numbers are facing upwards, it's going to be our multipliers for this game. So let's call them back here. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I call the staff back here, and they put all them dice that we want on the pusher back there. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. 
Hopefully they land on some really, really nice numbers today. Now they're doing pretty good so far. We got like uh, two ones. The ones don't count at all. We went on everything from two to six. So the majority of those dice are winning numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings in our gold ball that. And I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a $10 million buy and We'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. You all are not going to believe how much money I ended up winning tonight from a $10 million buy and This right here is absolutely unbelievable. So I ended up winning $21,038,000. That is all the poker chips and the cash and the value of that mystery money keychain all put together. And the white dice today totaled up to 27, so that put us up to 568 million and 26 thousand dollars today from a 10 million dollar buy-in. So that means we ended up profiting 558 million and 26 thousand dollars today. That right there is absolutely outstanding, hands down one of the best games I've played in a while. Well, uh, the game I played earlier, in other words, yesterday's video, that win was even better than this one. So be sure you check out that video after you're done watching this one right here. So be sure you leave a thumbs up on this video right here if you enjoyed that win. And uh, anyway, on top of that, we ended up winning, I believe it was, uh, I think it was like 41 ounces of gold. Yeah, that's what it was. And the gold ice totaled up to 14, so that put us up to 574 ounces of gold. Spot price of gold is like 2420 an ounce right now, possibly. So that means we got roughly $1,389,080 in gold. I'll take it. And last but not least, we ended up winning uh, 1,282 quarters. So that's pretty good right there. Let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $320.50 in quarters. I'll take it. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, be sure you leave a like on it. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on the bell icon. That way you're notified for future videos. And if you want to check out uh, yesterday's video, well, for you all, it'll be yesterday's video. Uh, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that will appear at the top right. If you want to check out a video on my second channel called High Risk Coin Pressure, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen, and if you want to subscribe to my second channel, that will appear at the top left. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on tomorrow's video. Y'all have an awesome day.